How's it going, boys? We're going to bring you specifications you can relate to so you can have an educated decision on your purchases. This is the one provided by Best Tech. Uh, this is called the Tulip, and that's kind of how it's going to sit. But truly, um, probably going to actually just put it right in there. Uh, so this is going to be one provided by Best Tech, so thank you very much to them. There's two different variants on this. There's a slip joint version and a frame lock version. Uh, this one is the uh, slip joint version. Uh, so it opens and closes uh, without any lock for it. So that's going to be how that sits. Uh, it is very tiny. Uh, so that's the one thing that's happening with that. Uh, so this one is one that is pretty cool. I mean, it's one that you don't see very often. Uh, very uh, legendary shape as far as the blade goes. So it is has been around for some time. Uh, this is, comes in at a weight of uh, 1.8 ounces so that's about nine quarters so going off to uh, the, the weight that I have uh, for the knife nine quarters take that out you can feel that how that is basically 1.8 ounces uh, so the odd thing about that is if you know if you've experienced a bug out uh, that's one more of these for that so I mean it's, it's something that's gonna be unique to it that's a titanium one uh, M390, this is going to be uh, the um, kind of plastic handle, I forgot what they called it, uh, but this is going to be the bug out, add another penny, ounce more, 1.9, 1.8, so that's going to be kind of that difference between those two blades. Currently it's about 126, uh, MSRP about now 149 uh, for pricing wise, uh, so it's really, it's, it's kind of one that's going to be if you really like it. Uh, so it's going to be something that if you find it to be something that you really want in your collection I don't know too many people that will have it be your primary but it very well could be because especially for people that carry around like a Swiss Army knife this might be the one that kind of takes the place of that knife as well for you. Uh, it takes about one pound uh, 11.5 ounces to actually do the deployment for it so that's going to be how that goes. Uh, it is basically just that one deployment method so you're going to have to have that top flip for it, and that's going to be how that will open, open and close, uh, and then that's about it uh, for deployment. But it does hold very well in the hand as far as this goes, so even if you're putting downward pressure on it, you do get a little bit of closure for it, but you're not going to be cutting yourself with it. Uh, so it is uh, safe in that manner, so even though it is that little slip joint, and it's a detent ball slip joint, uh, so that's why it doesn't have a back spacer or back spring for it. Uh, so it is one that just has detent balls that go from one side to the other to actually keep it be a non-locking knife. Uh, so it is very small. Again, going to fit really well for you. Uh, 1.5 inches uh, for the blade length. 1.37 for the actual cutting length on the blade. And then that is going to be a flat grind as well. So M390, as I said before, about 80th percentile for the actual corrosion resistance, about 83rd percentile for the edge retention. Um, handle is about 2.4 inches uh, for this one. Behind the edge thickness is going to be about five sheets of paper, so get that out of your printer, and you're going to see it's going to be a little bit more than it was like 5.4, uh, but basically uh, that's about 21 thousandths, and then the blade stock is going to be 2.4 millimeters. Right hand tip up. Uh, this is one thing that's kind of missing for this knife, um, at least what I feel. Uh, I don't think it really needs the clip. It's something that's kind of nice about it, uh, but this really uh, would have benefited from some type of slip. Uh, this is the one that I actually carry around from Pop Up Leather. Uh, you can actually have a 15% discount code going to um, their website. Uh, use Bladester as far as a discount code for that, but you're going to have a much shorter one, of course, because that's going to just be buried in there. But if you had a slip for it, you would carry it around in this manner and then just have your little knife with you. So that's one thing that I think is missing uh, from this knife. So could have got rid of the pocket clip, I just did a little slip uh, for the knife and that would have been a better carry in my opinion. Uh, so that's going to be a very uh, light detent uh, for the pocket clip. So it's less than a pound to take it out of the pocket so that this pocket clip itself is small and also not very much of a detent for it. So it still has a little bit of retention, about 15 ounces, uh, but it is very light in that manner. And so this is going to be similar to something like an EWC. Uh, for Monterey, Monterey Bay knives, um, but uh, that's going to be um, that similar mechanism as far as that top flipper uh, type of mechanism. 
So that's why I would kind of, for this one, I would kind of put it into a borrow category. I guess it's a cool design, minimalist, still I would feel that it would be better off with a slip instead of a pocket clip for it. Uh, that would be you not know, kind of rounded out. I uh, guess it does come with a little baggy, but even the bag is too big. So this bag uh, for this knife, just really, you're not going to be carrying this bag around uh, with this knife. So if this was bag was like really tiny, so if it was like a itty bitty little bag, so it was like that big, maybe uh, it could be something to carry around with it. But in this current uh, current fashion, it doesn't really work for this. It's a nice presentation, uh, but not anything that's actually functional uh, for that. Uh, so that's where we're going to come around now for this one. Uh, but sizing again, uh, you already saw the bug out, but going to have the rat two uh, for it. Also, you have a two year. There's a SNL or S and S. Uh, so Saturday Night Special, uh, those are going to be um, very, very tiny. Uh, so if that's the type of knife you're looking for, if that's something that's missing out of your collection uh, for that Kiridashi shape, uh, then pick that up. Uh, there are some fixed blades in that, uh, that pattern, but not too many in a folding knife. Uh, so that's something that's pretty cool with it. So also let me know which ones you want me to review next. So this is going to be your input if you made it this far in the video. So you got the payout, and then thank you very much to Randy uh, for letting me handle the knockout, or you have the CJRB Agave. I love your part and your choices to see what you want to be see reviewed next as far as the Kershaw, um, both Kershaws, so either the knockout, the payout, or the CJRB uh, Agave. So that's going to be your choice for that, and that's about all I have to say about that knife.